do now, I'm gonna start with the rear brakes. I'm gonna open the reservoir. Just be careful not to drip anything. So before I start bleeding any of the lines, I wanna bleed the ABS pump. So I connected my GS911 and I'm gonna run the ABS uh, bleed function from it. Uh, so select your bike and then go to ABS system then uh, special functions service functions then click on bleed brakes and then run the function uh, now it tells you how to do it so the pump will, will go on bubbles, and then it will happen three times so uh, just continue flush once I push flush, you're supposed to push the brakes a couple times to have the system push the fluid out. So you can hear the ABS working. And you're supposed to press the brakes for two seconds. Three times. And now the old fluid is out from the ABS unit. And then you continue to do it uh, two and three times. Press the brakes. And that's it. Now you can turn the ignition off. And that's it. Now that the old fluid is out from the ABS pump, I can start bleeding the rest of the lines. So I'm gonna start with the rear brakes, uh, remove the mud guards, and then push against the caliper. This will help push the piston back in place, and this will make the fl old fluid go back in the lines so we can vacuum it all out. You can see my fluid the level went up to higher than full. That's okay, because I'm ready to suck it out now. Using 11 millimeter wrench, uh, place it on the bleeder valve. Then place the tubing from the vacuum on the bleeder and use a zip tie to secure it in place so it doesn't fall off when you try to unscrew it. Here, I'm gonna test that my vacuum has a solid connection and there is no leaks, so it will not let any air in. So after pumping the vacuum several times, I noticed that the needle is kept on dropping. So there is a vacuum leak somewhere. So I cannot use this method. Here you can see a lot of air bubbles are in the line. And this is just because my uh, bleeder pump is not good. Uh, since I was uh, vacuuming out the old fluid, the, the container is now empty. So I'll just refill it with new fluid. Okay, so my help is helping me with this. Uh, she's popping the brakes three times and holding yes. while I open the valve and then I close it before she released the foot brake. Pump will hold. Pump will hold. Yes. Pump will hold. Yes. Okay, so bleeding is done for the rear. I'm gonna put the cap back. Back. Uh, bleeding the front brakes is the same as the rear brakes. Uh, open up the front reservoir cap. Uh, these are T20 screws. Uh, careful not to drip any oil on your paint, it will damage it. Then, with my bleeder pump, I'm gonna remove uh, some of the oil, old oil. Just so when I push the pistons in, it doesn't drip on the paint. Next, remove the front caliper so we could push in the pistons. Uh, these are 13 millimeter sockets. Uh, push the caliper toward the tire, then pull it. Uh, you could use any shim. Here I use the uh, plastic piece to help me push down the brake pads against the pistons and this will push the pistons in and push in the old fluid back in the lines. Reinstall the brake caliper and torque to 39. 
Use an 8mm uh, wrench to open up the bleeder valve, then install the, the tube for my vacuum line. And then someone's helping me here, so the same way we did on the rear brake is that you pull the handle three times and you hold it, open the valve, close the valve, then release the brake. And then again, just keep repeating it until all the fluid is gone and keep adding a new fluid until all the old fluid is gone. Now that I'm done with my 6000 mile service, I'm gonna reset the service reminder. So connect the GS911 and run the software. Uh, next, go to the initial page and click on special functions, then service reminder. And here we'll read the data on your bike. Next, uh, choose custom date and mileage, and I'm gonna set it up to next year or 12,000 miles to 186. And click apply, and now you could see uh, next service due 12,000 miles and next year. That's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe for more videos.